For being one of the most beloved Disney characters of all times, Genie never really got any story of his own in Aladdin or any of the sequels, and they never really delved into the mystical being's backstory, particularly how he got trapped in the golden lamp in the first place. Thankfully, after scouring the internet and digging through the various possibilities, it finally feels like there's a solid theory that could explain Genie's untold backstory and answer the question we've all been asking ourselves, who exactly trapped him in that lamp? Oddly enough, the most plausible theory that comes out about who trapped Genie came from the information presented by a Disney Channel show that pointed in the direction of the Kingdom of Maru. You see, though the House of Mouse didn't give out many details about Genie's backstory, they did explain that character's powers and abilities enough to understand that it wouldn't have been a simple task to trap a Genie. In the movie, Genie was shown possessing mystical abilities which were described as cosmic powers. There were very few limits to his abilities. He could grant wishes and even shapeshift. The real burden came from the fact that he was bound to a lamp for all all eternity. But other than that, and the fact that he was stuck in the lamp for more than 10,000 years, they didn't talk about how he got in there in the first place. The only thing that can be said for sure is that it would have needed to be a really powerful force that wanted to, and was able to trap the mystical spellcaster into a vessel that needed to be strong enough to contain him. And that's where the theory about the Kingdom of Maru comes in, which was an ancient civilization made up of very powerful magic users. The Kingdom of Maru has made appearances in two Disney shows, Elena of Avalor on the Disney Channel and Sophia the First on Disney Junior. And according to this theory, it was the same ancient kingdom that was responsible for trapping Genie in his lamp for eternity. You see, throughout Elena of Avalor, the Maru people were shown to create various magic artifacts that they used to protect the world from the forces of evil, which is exactly what would have been needed to contain Genie. In the series, the Maruvians were credited with creating the Amulet of Avalor, which had the power to give the wearer abilities for each good deed that they had done. And to prove they didn't mess around, around with evil, the amulet even had the ability to curse the wearer if they committed a bad deed. The Maruvians also created the Scepter of Light, which was used by Princess Elena in the show and had the ability to amplify and direct Elena's powers that the amulet gave her. So, if the Kingdom of Maru had the ability to create such powerful magic items, there would be no reason why they wouldn't have been able to make a lamp that was strong enough to contain the soul of a genie. And make no mistake, as Disney's Aladdin showed the audience, genies were essentially all-powerful, which means that the chosen vessel needed to be made using very strong and potent magic, something that the Kingdom of Maru had an abundance of, making it perfectly reasonable to theorize that they were the ones who trapped Genie all those years ago. But to understand exactly why the Maru would want to trap someone like Genie into a magical lamp, it's important to understand exactly what a Genie is and the various forms it can take. You see, according to the oldest lore known about the Genie, they were actually referred to as Jinn, and they were believed to be beings made out of a smoking fire. That being said, according to the lore, the jinn could also take on a more physical form that allowed them to interact with the world around them and the people in it. And much like the humans of the world, the jinn were believed to have varying moralities, meaning that you could have good jinn or you could have very bad and even evil jinn. And if Genie were one of these evil jinn, then he would have been right on the Maruvian's list of beings to protect the world from. According to the lore, evil jinn was so common that they were given a class of their own known as Shaitan. The Shaitan jinn were evil spirits named after the devil Iblis, who was also referred to as Shaitan. Now, in case you weren't convinced that Genie was actually one of these jinn, whether he was a Shaitan or not, it should be noted that he was originally referred to as a jinn. This is coming from the original tale of Aladdin from the well-known book 1001 Nights, in which he is called a jinn, depending on which version of the story you read. Interestingly enough, though, in all of the lore that's ever been written about the jinn or genies, there has never been an explanation as to how a force as powerful as that could be trapped in the first place. And that, once again, is where the Kingdom of Maru comes into the theory, as they would have been powerful enough and have the ability to make a vessel strong enough to trap a jinn into a lamp. Now, with all that in mind, this theory considers the fact that, before he became the genie that Disney showed him to be in Aladdin, there's a chance that he was one of these shaitans, which is why the Maruvians decided to trap him. In Elena of Avalor, it's explained that one of the main responsibilities of the Kingdom of Maru was to protect itself and the world around it from the forces of evil. And, believe it or not, some of these forces were pretty strong. That's the only reason that they learned how to construct such powerful magical artifacts like the scepter or the amulet. It was to fight off magical foes like Orizaba, who was depicted in Elena of Avalor as an evil moth fairy who wanted to use her powers to turn the world into a land of eternal night, and in order to do that she needed to be immensely powerful. Yet in the show, they explained that a Moruvian wizard managed to not only stop Orizaba's plan, but also trapped her in the spirit world. This proves that the people of Maru had the ability to trap powerful entities in various 
various places, which opens up the possibility for them to have been the ones who trapped Genie in his lamp. As for why they would have done that, according to this theory, it's because there's a chance that Genie was actually a shaitan. And before you dismiss the idea of Genie ever being an evil jinn, think about a few of the lessons that he taught Aladdin in the movie and take a look back at the few times he lashed out at his new master. Genie was shown in the movie to have a bit of a temper, like when he was yelling at Aladdin that he was going to use the lamp whether he liked it or not. Sure, that could be seen as the Robin Williams character's explosive attitude, but if you think about it, the fact that he blew his lid like that is actually pretty scary. On top of that, one of the most important lessons that Genie tried to teach Aladdin in the movie was, to be honest. He tried to explain to Aladdin the consequences that can come from being caught in a lie or doing something dishonest, as he encouraged the young man to tell Jasmine the truth about who he was and how he felt. Now, if this theory is true, then Genie would have been talking from experience after being trapped in a lamp by the Moruvians for being an evil shaitan. In fact, since the Disney series, Elena of Avalor portrayed the Kingdom of Maru as being full of wise and powerful wizards, there's a chance that they even added conditions to Genie's sentencing within the lamp. For instance, after trapping the shaitan in the lamp, the Moruvians might have made it so that he was trapped until he finally managed to open himself up to another being and accept friendship. And only when those conditions were met in Aladdin was the genie finally able to be freed from the confines of his itty-bitty living space. Now that being said, this is just a theory since Disney has never confirmed what it was that trapped Genie, so really it could have been a number of other infamous Disney characters. It would have had to have been someone very powerful, so right away the mind might go to Ursula, especially since this would fit with the way her character was shown to treat magic in The Little Mermaid. She was able to use the Nautilus shell to steal Ariel's magic voice, so she clearly had an understanding of how to take and trap magical forces into objects. But realistically, there would have been no motivation for her to trap Genie, whether he was good or evil. It just wouldn't have affected her in any way, as you know from her character's personality, if it wasn't going to directly benefit her, it didn't matter. So far, the best candidate for this theory seems to be the Moruvians. There's also a chance that the god on Mount Olympus in Hercules could have done it. They were certainly shown to be powerful enough, though again, they wouldn't really have had a reason or motive to trap Genie into a lamp for eternity. So, other than the Moruvians, the only other people that come to mind that would be strong enough to trap a force as powerful as Genie into a lamp for no reason other than for the sake of it would be the Odd Sisters. These three witches were introduced into the world of Disney through the Villains book series by Serena Valentino, and they have proven themselves to be involved in almost every Disney character's undoing. And for the most part, they acted for no reason at all aside from being malicious, which could make it possible for them to have been the ones who trapped Genie. Though, when you look at this theory, it still seems like the best answer is that the Moruvian wizards used their artifacts and magic to trap Genie while he was spreading chaos throughout the world as a shaitan. Who do you think trapped Genie in his mystical lamp? Was it the Moruvians or someone else? Make sure you let us know your thoughts in the comments below.